Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning back in. We're in episode seven of Alan Wake 2, and we're still in the subway. Um, I'm having trouble, like, figuring out where to start and stop. At the beginning, it was a lot easier because, like, the chapters and stuff, and it seemed, like, very, very easy to do. Now I'm just kind of, like, basing it on time, so I'm trying to keep them to around an hour, because I know the game's a long game. But we're still in the subway. But thank you guys for tuning back in. Thank you to all my recent subscribers and members as well. If you'd like to see these episodes early, don't forget, become a member and you could get those. So we just had the darkness. What's my, my mouse is, was stuck. Sorry about that. Oh, because I put my phone on top of the cord. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's go. Sorry. But yeah. So the darkness just came. It looks like it cleared out the... Uh, right now, I think we rewrote the story to clear out the tunnel, right? But the darkness chased us away. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was called the darkness. I'm going to call it... open now. I could get through. I'm going to call it the darkness. Shit. Oh! Run away! <laughs> of course it's still there. Of course it's still there. Just run, Alan. Run a little bit faster. Like, pretend like you're being chased, maybe? Because you are being chased. The dark presence. I had seen it before. I remembered now. The dark presence. It's always out there. Oh, it's Hunting. close. Okay, now we're in a cave. Great. I thought it cleared out the tunnel. I guess I just hadn't finished building this tunnel and the story. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What is that? Is that a body? Oh wait, this is a this is the lake. This is Cauldron Lake, right? It's a picnic table? No. I had found the murder site. Somehow the victim's heart was the key. Cauldron Lake. Now, now. Cauldron Lake. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. I keep doing that, though. I keep doing it, where it's the end of the part, but it's like, <laughs> right after I finished an episode. It's like the second time it's happened. So basically what's going on right now is all of that was while Saga was at Cauldron Lake because I forget what episode it was, but we were like seeing Alan and talking to him kind of, and that was right there where we had just uh, seen. So let's go ahead and continue on. So that's really cool. Okay, cool. There's Mr. Dead Man. Um... The writer of the first word, not the... I guess we could actually come over here and read it. It'd be a little bit easier. Who is writing who? The who writer is writing of the... this poem? Me? No. 
He sounds kind of drunk, but okay. The writer of the, the writer of the first word, not the writer of the last, with the terror of the light and the shadows cast. The third eye now open to project the night, to write this moment. This is the moment to write. Sorry. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Okay. So is there? Obviously, we got to go down here. Let's look at the map real quick. Yeah, there's no indication because we don't have a map for this part. There's an echo. Get a little bit closer. It's Casey. I felt it. Stepping to the murder site, I'd felt it hanging in the air. A meaning. The violent emotion of the act. Like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see. And yet, making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level. Overlapping with your meaningless existence. Regression to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. Okay. I'm not really following his... Like, the whole murder thing from... Like, the echoes from Casey very well. So, if you guys kind of know... Or have been keeping track of that... Um, please let me know down in the comments. Is this going to take us back out onto the street? Back out into the subway, okay. Not in service. Oh, I know where we're at. Yeah. Yeah, because there was a word of power in there that we had already gotten. Wait, that's all open. Wait. That's like endless. I was not there before. Okay, now let's take a look at the map. So it brought us back here. We only missed one or two things there, which I'm not really concerned with. Um, the station like, had changed. I was closer now. Closer. Okay, so we had originally gone down that way. Can we get onto this? No. I guess we gotta leave. Go back up to the street. Can I take this? Yeah, let's take that, because we're probably going to need it. Okay, let's go. Back out into the street. So that building there is the one that changed. Uh, that we said a little bit Harlem ago. Tower, our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? No. Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. So you got an Alan Wake statue. How, meaning here? How long have I been trying to escape? Long enough for Alice to think I'm dead. Oh, uh, yeah, because we've been missing for 13 years. Is the phone ringing? The phone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Helping me. Did you go deeper to the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I. That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower to make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? Huh. See, I thought that was Casey that we had been talking to, but I don't think it actually is. It's somebody else. 
But Scratch will something, and... Alice... Did Alice get out? Well, we really don't know. I guess we'll find out. Go into Parliament Tower. Okay. I'm worried that somebody's gonna run up on me. Let's get in here. Writer. Writer. Maybe he was a victim. The cult using his words. Or maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Why would you write your wife into the story? Can I close this? Yeah, let's do that. Just feel much better whenever the doors are closed. Okay, it looks like... It's just... I don't know what it looks like. I don't know if I trust it. It's just opening up for me. Is there anything here I can touch? No. Okay, it's a nice building. Very nice building. I wouldn't mind living in a building like this. Need some good elevator music. You know, some of that smooth jazz. Oh. Haunting. Initiation three. Alice's Great. photo equipment. Set to go off when the door opens. Okay. It's very strange that it would... Well, I guess, I guess some buildings do have that where... Your elevator, if you have a key, you can take it to directly to your apartment. So, that, that's it. Okay. It's not that strange. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! I will help you. What happened? Alice. Pick photo for exhibition posters. Wait, is this thing? This is a photo of Scratch. That is? How did Alice get this? That looks like you. He's stalking her. That's Alan. I mean, it looks like Alan. Interesting. What is this? This one here. Oh, probably from the lake. Okay. Uh, I think I, I think I get it. Right, can I get into any of these? No. Okay. Well. It's a pretty nice apartment. I bet you that painting there costs like $25,000. It just looks like somebody hasn't painted the wall. Art. I don't understand it. Okay. This is the door to my study. Where I wrote my books. It's a symbol. This symbol wasn't here before. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of books. What are these? I mean, it looks... <laughs> they look all like the same book. Alice's video camera. Okay, no memory Alice, card inside. Look at the memory card. Yeah, gotta look for a uh, memory card. Okay. This. Focal point of the dark place. Video art doc on screens. Multi. Anything here? Video art doc, focal point of the dark place. So, okay. Can't get out on the balcony. Oh, here we go. Part one. There's a the memory card. One. What was Alice working on? 
Uh, not washing the dishes. Well, her one dish, I guess. I guess I can't complain because everything in the sink is clean. Or there's nothing in the sink, so. Therefore, she cleaned it. Okay, let's check this out. years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. The lights flickering behind her. So are we scratch? What is going on? I sat in the writer's room and wrote a story. Initiation. To project myself through the dark place. To look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere. Loop me back. I was writing this story. And in the story, I now stepped into the writer's room. 
But there was no one here writing it. Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding but your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time- it... This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is it's full of holes and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It's like, it's like, it's like a half forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. Okay. It's um. Insane. And there's so much of it. So, Scratch, I kind of 
made sense a little bit more why his name's Scratch whenever you see the paper on his desk in that last vision where it was scratched out. And I'm, he's like the dark version of Alan Wake, but also can manifest in different forms, I guess. I guess it might be the anger that Alice is talking about, possibly. So that's kind of what I took from it. But that was a lot to take in right there. Okay. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch in the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. Okay, so the cult has the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? I mean, I think he's confused, to be honest. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's do profiling. The cult and the clicker. The cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter. The next chapter. The next chapter. Keep the pages safe. The dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. I mean, he's writing the story as well. So, like, he kind of knows. But, like, obviously, his memory's not all there. So maybe he doesn't remember he's got those pages. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Okay. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. That's what or I was going to going to say like if they're one and the same and it's like part of him like obviously they probably both came out together okay 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 mr wake i know you have more pages of the manuscript on you you don't understand how vital these pages are they're the only way i can know what's coming you're not the only one trying to solve this this is our job okay here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Okay. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. Okay. Let's take a look at that further, though. Um... The trailer? Standing inside the trailer, yeah. the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, Ran after him. Okay. So we're going to have to go back to the lake. Okay. I, I mean, I, I assume it's what we're going to need to do. I assume it's what we're going to need to do. So, so what's back here? It looks like the, it looks wet. So this is, is this a save point? But like, what's this black cue? I really like games that do that, where they have mirrors. Oh, I really like that. I think it's really good. Okay, let's go ahead and save it real quick. Okay, so we've got... We've got a lot of stuff in our inventory. Um, what's this? The uh, 
One charge of Saga's flashlight. I'm gonna take that and put it there. Okay, cool. All right, now that our inventory is organized and cleared out, I believe, so is it? Tab, goals, learn more about the clicker. Okay, so we just gotta learn more about it. Um. Wake has more information. I need well, to keep questioning him. But you're not letting me. There's no, there's no prompts. Is there something over here that I need to do? Oh, there we go. Cases. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So the story. Got a whole new one here. Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Okay. Can't say I understand all this, but if Wake is telling the truth, then his magic light switch is the most tangible lead. Let's start there. Where is the clicker? Um, the trailer near Watery. Huh. Good place to start. Call to the tree is in possession of the clicker. Okay. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. Okay. They're a part of all this. So the trailer we're going to have to go to. Let's check out these cases uh, here. More of the story. Here's this. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Okay. Why couldn't it have been a romance? <laughs> so it wouldn't have been nearly as interesting. Oh man, we've got a lot of stuff for this. Wow. Okay. Wake wrote a book in the dark place called Return. Scratch edited it into a horror story. The story's events are slowly coming true. Okay, Wake was trapped in the dark place. How does the story change reality at the dark place? Here we go. <clears throat> Wake was in another world that entire time. There's an instance inside the dark place. We're just getting so much stuff. According to Wake, the Dark Presence can sometimes take his appearance. How and why? Flashlight seems to weaken Taken. Okay. Man, there's a ton. Okay, it would make sense that the light is effective against the Dark Presence, too. Okay, so this here. Hmm. Well, it areas are safe from the Dark Presence and the Taken. Scratch and the Dark Presence are interchangeable, so... There we go. When the Dark Presence looks like Wake, it goes by the, the name Scratch. An evil twin is a bit convenient. I'll keep an eye on it. Let's see, Wake. In the form of Scratch, the Dark Presence is editing Wake's story. It wants him to turn the world into a nightmare. Okay, well, I obviously can't let that happen. <laughs> Wake says that the Dark Place can be assessed from the bottom of Cauldron Lake. Dark place. Oh, here we go. So what, Cauldron Lake is a gateway to some other world? Fiction coming into contact with the dark place has the power to change reality. Okay, so whatever you write in the dark place come, becomes reality. It can't be that simple. The story changes our reality bit by bit. The process is gradual. Okay. That means the effect isn't immediate. There is still time to fix this. If we don't stop it, Scratch will use the story to permanently change reality at the start of Deerfest. Only gives us two days. Let's get the clicker before Scratch with it. The story can be changed and Scratch will be sent back to the dark place. Okay, the clicker. Okay, it's some other strange reality. The dark place merges with ours. This place and the dark place, the page called this area the o an overlap. The dark place, a dimension that's home to monsters. Huh. Wild stuff. That is wild, crazy. Man, there's, there's just, it just keeps opening up more stuff. Okay, I entered the cauldron like overlap by reciting the poem. Poem was about a local legend, a witch's lost heart. 
about terror. An overlap needed to push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality eroded and repeated dark lore and a counterpoint. Crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting the story on the other <sighs> side. For the overlap to form, it can't just be an urban legend. It must be supported by an accompanying narrative in the dark place. Bedtime stories, folk tales, urban legends connected to a specific place. These were the sites where the overlaps came to be. Overlaps can only form in specific places. The reality changing influence of the dark place flowed like water flowed, where a work of art proposed an alternate narrative. Maybe this here? There we go. Okay. The dark place makes writing come true, taking something real and nudging it. They're treating people's lives like toys. Can Wake be trusted with that kind of power? Can anyone? The stronger the connection between the belief and emotional response, the better. The darker, the better. Sounds like darker, more emotional works are more effective and at alternate reality. It's not just writing, other art forms work too. Okay, so this is for later. So that's everything we've got so far on the story. Okay. So then we've got the Cult of the Tree. We've got a little bit more of that. The cult could be followers of Scratch. They have the clicker after all. Nope. Cult goal. There we go. Cult working for someone. Why Why work for Scratch? What does the cult get out of it? Okay. Then we got the murder at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Case closed. I killed Nightingale. I had to. He was a monster. The flooding around Cauldron Lake receded afterward. Nothing about this makes rational sense. We found Alan Wake, a writer missing for 13 years, at the shore of the lake. Hopefully, we can shed some light on this. Okay. Looks like we got it's all, all the page, the clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. From now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. Interesting. Wait, so I can come in here and switch reality? presence had stopped me. Okay. See, I thought it meant like... I had seen the title page of another manuscript. Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar. Important. I had to find it. Okay, so we're going to catch up on this. It was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. Okay, so we're going back and forth between, like, the, I guess, Alan's past and now. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Part one, we sing The Slaughter. The last draft of Initiation had brought me to my writer's room, but not the one where I was writing now. A different reality, a different time. I had died in the end, again. The dark presence had killed me, but something had changed now. My memories of what happened were not eaten away. There had been another manuscript there. The title page, title page read Return. Had I written it, but then forgotten about it? It felt important. It was important. I remember Return a loop. Okay. Okay, so. So I don't really know where to go then. Oh, wait. 
are we it's the, we're in this we're in the studio excuse me can we leave this I don't think we can interesting so this Alice's documentary so we've we've seen these writer's journey yeah we've seen all those okay yeah let's um well I don't know how to get out of here so we're just gonna sit down I to write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament tower using another murder site Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out, but still in danger. Back in, but I was back, and I hadn't forgotten. I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. Okay. In the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. Just do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it. He just always looks like he just doesn't want to be there. What?
goes to Alan White. And all your stories of crime and chilling thrillers of hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much. I had to get away. Okay, wow. That was awesome. I don't know if there's more, but I hope there's more because that's really freaking cool.
sorry, I'm just enjoying this whole thing. I'm like just enjoying the music and <laughs> I didn't realize we we're gonna get attacked. Wait for solo. Well, the solo's happening. enemies <laughs> Okay, I'm trying not to talk a lot because it's really loud and I'm kind of enjoying the music, so sorry about that. <laughs> Safe. So we're back in the, the studio again, but the TV's not on this time. Okay. Well, that was <laughs> interesting. Like, to say the least, that was that that was really cool. I really liked that. Okay, can we get out of here now? Ah, cool. Vision. There's more. Such a dark place, am I trapped in here? Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript that held the key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. Echo seems to seek out again and again. Until I figure it out to bring this song to its end. Musical. Is there any way out to bring this song to its end? Okay. 
So did we just, we ended the song? The musical's over? 